I woke up alone, abandoned in the space you left. I tried to find you and fill the hole inside my chest. I wanted you to stay, I tried to find a way, and I did. I trapped you here with all my pain. We became a monster I could not explain. I needed you to stay, I had to make you stay, so I did. But the sun came up like you promised it would, and we were living in a cage cut off from the rest of the world. And I knew I had to set you free. I knew you couldn't stay with me. It's time, I know it's time, so I'm singing. Goodbye, little bird, I'll watch you fly into the blue, and when the summer ends, I'll fly with you. Summer Blue Bird by Ikamai Dawn Bowman This is from Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. The crickets sang in the grasses, they sang the song of summer's ending, a sad, monotonous song. Summer is over and gone, they sang, over and gone, over and gone. Summer is dying, dying. The crickets felt it was their duty to warn everybody that summertime cannot last forever. Even on the most beautiful days in the whole year, the days when summer is changing into fall, the crickets spread the rumor of sadness and change. Oh, Earth, you're too wonderful for anyone to realize you. Do any human beings ever realize life while they live it? Every, every minute? Our town. Thorin Wilder. Ron and Hermione seemed a long way away, in a far-off country. He felt as though he had parted from them long ago. There'd be no goodbyes and no explanations. He was determined of that. This was a journey they could not take together. And the attempts they would make to stop him would waste valuable time. He looked down at his battered gold watch he received on his 17th birthday. Nearly half the hour allotted by Voldemort for his surrender had elapsed. He stood up. His heart was leaping against his ribs like a frantic bird. Perhaps it knew it had little time left. Perhaps it was determined to fulfill a lifetime's beats before the end. He did not look back as he closed the office door. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Sometimes, especially lately, all you need is a good cry. What's your favorite sad movie, film, song, or TV show? Why do they resonate with you? Join us as we discuss books, films, songs, and shows that mean something, a little something a little special for us. The next episode of Paper Cut premieres on January 19th.